Working Class Beer Reviews. How you doing guys? Uh, we are, today we're looking at Lagunitas IPA. So, uh, got this size can. So it's probably one of those 19 ounce cans or something like that. It doesn't... Anyway, yeah. One of the bigger, like the stovepipe cans that you see uh, New Belgium and stuff in. Got a tulip glass here we're going to use. I like to use that for IPAs. It's a good way to present it. Puncture it with my dagger. Pour it before we start talking about it. Give it a nice strong pour. It's evening time, sun's gone down, so there's a little bit of light left. Hopefully this looks okay and it doesn't uh, look overly dark. I've got a light on behind here. Got the umbrella up, it's just that time of year. Normally you see me at the table with nothing on, but it's May. It's been in the upper 70s, like absolutely perfect weather. And I thought, you know what, this would be a good time to do a good rev a review of uh, this. I have, have had Lagunitas in a bottle before. So why don't we look at it? It says 6.2% ABV. This is off the Lagunitas website. Uh, beer math on ABV is pretty straightforward. The higher the ABV, the more alcohol in the beer. See, no rocket science necessary. <laughs> okay. Uh, IBUs is 45. And so that's, you know, that's on the lower end of a uh, IPA. I mean, I don't know, maybe close to standard. Generally speaking, the IB, a high IBU beer will have more bitter taste than a lower IBU beer. So I guess for newbies, if they've never experienced anything like this, they might enjoy that information. And OG, the gravity is 13.5. So I don't really understand this. It says the OG measures solids in the wort before fermentation to the cons to consistently arrive at the same alcohol content of a beer. Solids in the wort before fermentation to consistently arrive at the same alcohol. Oh, I don't, yeah, so I don't know what that means. Um, maybe someone in the comments can explain how gravity works. OG, original gravity. So, C hops, the use of old school C hops like Cascade, Centennial, and Chinook bring a touch of citrus flavored in IPA that is both bright and deep. Caramel malts. IPA is chock full of caramel malted barley that brings a special depth of flavor to the beer. While lots of other malts bring biscuity flavors, this brings taste of caramelized sugar as well as beautiful orange, a beautiful orange hue. Which you're not getting much light, but yeah, it is an orange, orangish color, but very clear. The head seems to have receded very quickly. Pininess. The pine aromas of all all from the hops balance out the more dominating citrus and caramel notes making you crave another sip availability year-round it says on tap 12 ounce bottle 12 ounce can and 19.2 ounce can so that's what this is 19.2 <clears throat> so um lagunitas I believe it's out of california let's see yeah petal petaluma California and I want to say recently it was acquired by Heineken but that does not take away from the quality of the beer so what we what get clear golden orangey not a whole lot of I mean some fine fine powdery sediment in there not much head I'm oh, not spilled it I'm kind of disappointed that the head retention wasn't there we have piney aroma That's a good sip. You might hear bats. That's we get those in the evening time when it gets warm around here. Got a couple of vacant houses that I think they pretty much inhabit. And uh, when summertime comes and we're swimming in our pool, they'll be dive bombing us looking for bugs. So <laughs> we have that to worry about. Um, yeah, so there, it's a medium, light to medium body, on more closer to medium. Um, bit of a sticky mouthfeel. You get resinous from the hops, a little sugariness from the malts, but not like sweet, sugary sweet, but just that sugary body. That's what you, it is a more of a, yeah, I would say, yeah, medium body beer. 
not wet, kind of sticky. Um, yeah, I've had the Lagunese IPA in a bottle years ago, back when, you know, in the height of the IPA craze, and I kind of got into it over time. Uh, so, I don't know if there's a date. B3177840B1. Um, okay, 0626 of 23. I don't know if that's the production date or the best buy date. But 06, that's, even if that's the production date, that's a still close, close to a year old. So that's probably why the head didn't retain. I've had this for a while, but I didn't think it was that old when I bought it. So that's probably why the head didn't stick around is that it's past date. So uh, I didn't pay attention to that when I bought it. Uh, the distributors typically don't, I mean, if something sells fast enough, they don't have to worry about it. But other things like this, yeah, I think I got this at Discount. Discount smokes and liquor where I get a lot of beers. And that's where I get a lot of them, if the ones that I get past eight. Some of them they sell discounted because they're past eight, so I know what I'm getting into. This, I'm sure I paid full price for it, probably about three bucks, two ninety nine, dollars for one of those cans. Um, so I don't, I don't, there are lots of other um, Lagunitas that, okay, I've told this story before. The very first IPA I've ever tried was Lagunitas Hop Stupid. And it's like, in the IBUs, I want to say it's like 80 something or maybe even more. It could be over 100. And I was not prepared for that. And I did not like it. I didn't. I bought one of the big bomber bottles, like the big 22 or 24 ounce bottles or whatever. And this is back in like 2009, 2008, 2009, somewhere in there. I remember buying it from Woods Grocery Store. They had it in the beer section. And I was like, oh, I'll try it. it sounds kind of cool. And yeah, I was, I was not prepared. So it took a while, and I think I have had it since then. I do like it. I just you have to get you you know acclimated to that the hoppy flavor, and I was not used to that. I was much more of a, just a basic beer, you know, American lager drinker, Corona, things like that. So it doesn't taste old. It's just more in the presentation. Um, the way it's kind of sticking to this glass tells me it probably wasn't beer clean. I didn't, I just gra grabbed it out of the cupboard. So I can't really, you know, speak to that. That could be my own fault. So, yeah, I may have to try this again if I can find me a fresh can. It's starting to get dark, so I don't know how this is looking from your end of the, of the camera. But, um, yeah, I can tell it's starting to get dark. Ooh, carbonation. How do I compare this to um, other IPAs? Uh, it, to me, I, I feel like this has been around, you know, for a long time. It's a bit of a benchmark. I mean, there are plenty of other options out there. I favor what's local, so I'm from mid Missouri, so I would go with some sort of a Boulevard IPA, something like that. Single wide IPA is probably what I would go with. And I know that I could go to Mother's down in Springfield, Schlafly in St. Louis, or, um, oh, what's the other one? O'Fallon. Yeah, O'Fallon, Schlafly. And I know there's another decent sized craft brewery in St. Louis, a couple more at least. Uh, Budweiser does not make IPAs. Um, I'm sure, yeah, they, they've acquired many companies that do, you know. Uh, Kona, well, I don't, they don't, I think InBev has a stake in Kona. So, I know Kona has an IPA. Um, yeah, there's, I mean, there's plenty to choose from. But this is one of the more prominent brands that you will see when it comes to craft IPAs. And some people, like, now that it's owned by Heineken, they're like, it's not craft anymore. Because Stone, Stone's another one, I think it's out of California as well. That's one of those kind of uh, gold standard when it comes to IPAs. And Sierra Nevada, I'll, you can't leave that one out. I, I have to bring them up because, uh, yeah, they're, they're a big deal. 
but yeah, I mean, I like it. I've had it before, so I, I didn't go into this completely blind. Um, would I have it again? I'd probably buy one of these, and if I knew, if I had company over that liked IPAs, I would buy a six pack of uh, Lag Lagunitas IPA. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. It's, it's for three dollars for a single, I think that's fair. I mean, that's you can't do anything about it. that's just that's the price it's going to be. Sometimes you might find it more. Gas stations tend to be a little more expensive. Maybe I should just keep talking until the sun goes down. Um, last night, uh, I guess you could see the aurora borealis in the sky at night. I kind of missed it. I didn't know, any, I didn't, wasn't prepared for it. So when we went out and looked, it was like nine o'clock and it was already gone. So around somewhere around 7.30, 8 o'clock or something like that, I guess you could see the aurora borealis all across the nation. I've seen lots of pictures on Instagram. Um, I came out here just to kind of relax tonight. Got company over, in-laws visiting, and it, it, not, I'm not trying to escape or anything, but just kind of relaxing. Wanted to uh, come out and play my mandolin a little bit, tune it up and play it, and just enjoy the weather. Um, haven't done a beer review for a while. I'm gonna, I got a few more in the fridge. I need to catch up and get some more out there in the open. And uh, But I appreciate you guys checking this out. If you, you're a fan of Lagunitas IPA, Lagunitas in general, um, and you can think of any other flavors or offerings of theirs that you want me to try, if I can find them, put them in the comments, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching this, guys, and I will see you guys later.